Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to show you this inspired um, look for the holidays. I know there's many looks out there and there's always a bold lip for the holidays but I just decided to go more for a smoky eye and a new lip even though I will have some looks coming up just like that. But without further ado, let's begin. Um, the first thing that I always do is apply a moisturizer and then I apply the primer. Here I'm using the Professional Primer by Benefit. And I just got it and I actually have to say that I really like it. I love the smell of it and how it glides on the skin very smooth. When I apply a primer, I just apply it on my T-zone and I actually underneath, a little bit underneath the eyes. Um, just because I am more on the drier side, so I don't like to use a lot of primer on my skin. Uh, the next thing is I went ahead and applied my foundation and I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Light Beige in case you were wondering what shade I use. And I'm using a beauty blender to just apply it all over which gives it more of an airbrush finish and a more natural without, I don't know, without leaving strokes on the face and that's the beauty of the beauty blender. Next, I am going to grab my concealer and I actually really like this concealer. This is by NARS and I use the color Custard and I am going to apply this underneath my eyes. This color actually uh, matches my skin tone and I don't use it to highlight underneath. I just use it to just correct the under eye area and just even now everything and then what I'm going to do after I blend everything I am going to grab a, a concealer that I use for more of a highlight which is the um, H Rewind Concealer by Maybelline because it's more of like a light color and if you apply these having really a lot of darkness underneath the eye is actually going to highlight them and not cover them so that was the whole point of applying the NARS first and then applying this more of a light shade after i don't apply too much products because i try to keep it more on the natural side so then here i'm just blending everything out and then i am there i'm done i'm gonna set everything with my favorite powder the shiseido loose powder with my mini beauty blender and i'm just applying these doing dabbing motions to just make sure the powder really sets on the skin and it doesn't crease underneath the eye because that's the most warmth um, area and our face expressions uh, tend to crease our concealer so you, so you just want to make sure that you press on the skin and you let it sit for a couple minutes that way it lasts you the whole day and it doesn't crease so next I'm grabbing the mineralized skin finish by MAC with a kabuki brush and I'm gonna set all over the skin just to make sure nothing moves and because we're doing the net and the eyes next just to make sure if there is any fallouts, it's just easier to correct because we have the powder and underneath our eyes and also everything is set. And I love this powder because um, it just gives you that, it hydrates the skin at the same time that you're putting it on so it doesn't give you that cake face or like that powdery look especially because I'm dry so I don't want nothing that dries me, dry, dries me more. Um, so then after I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and grab the primer and I'm using the Too Faced Eye Primer and I'm blending it out with a Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my favorite palette, which is the Stardust Palette by Vegas Ney. And I'm going to use all the eyeshadows from this palette for the eyes. And I'm using now the 224 brush in the shade Millennial to put it on the crease. So just make sure you do circular motions and you go back and forth, back and forth. To, from the outer corner to the inner corner of the eye and just take your time with this step uh, blending is I guess um, I would say the harder the harder step of the eyes that you have to get the hang of on so just make sure that you um, just take your time and practice 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 because practice makes perfect trust me I wasn't this good like two years or three years ago so it took practice so next I'm grabbing this brush by crown brush it's just like a regular flat brush and I'm using a little bit of fix plus and I'm putting the strip eyeshadow putting it right on my lid and I'm doing dabbing motions because this is such a glittery eyeshadow but it's so beautiful it's gonna make your eyes pop and it has that 
that purplish tone to it, which I really like because purple is one of my favorite, favorite colors. I love purple. Love everything that is purple. So yeah, so I'm just dabbing, doing dabbing motions and applying the shadow there. And if you have to add a little bit more Fix Plus, you can. And you can put it in the inner corner like I'm doing so that way it illuminates the eye. And next, with the 224 brush again, I'm going to grab this color and this is in the shade follow me so you just want to make sure you put this in the outer corner of the eye and this is what's going to make your eyes uh, pop this color is beautiful for every skin tone especially for the holidays you really want to go uh, with more of the color if you're not gonna do like bold lips like a red lip or like a burgundy lip so you can play a little bit play around with the eyes so you want to go ahead and apply this right in the outer V and bring it up upward a little bit into the crease that way the millennial color blends in with the follow me shade and you just do um you know just do circular motions so just take your time um on this step and next i am going to cut with to grab the the shade showgirl and i'm gonna add a little bit of fix plus and the, with this tiny tiny brush from crown brush i am going to apply this right on the lower lash line and I make sure to list all the brushes that I use down below that way you guys know which brushes I'm using usually when I don't mention the the name of the brush is because you can really use any brush it doesn't have to be the brand that I'm using but yeah I will give you the option in the description down below if you want to know which brush I am using and then here I'm just lining my waterline with a black pencil I'm using the feline by MAC and now it's time to get rid of all that loose powder so and I'm using just a big fan brush and this is also from crown brush and I will list the name down below and next I am going to apply the gel liner by motives and i'm using the brush that comes with the gel liner by tarte and i always use this brush because i like how it's just so little and i just love how it is and how convenient it is to just you know i just got used to it i think that's what it is so whatever makes you comfortable an angle brush go ahead and use it um, I just love this brush and if you want to see a more detailed tutorial on how to create this wing liner I do have one in my channel so go ahead and check it out next I am going to curl my lashes and to just before I put my falsies and apply mascara just to make sure those lashes are curled and they blend in with the falsies then I'm just applying the mascara which I use the zoom mascara by MAC nothing special about it just a regular mascara and then I am going to apply my favorite lashes oh my god these lashes are just so beautiful I just love the effect of them they are from Lily Galachi they're in the style Miami and I just love that they give me that effect of if I had like extensions which is kind of like funny but I just love how they look they're so so natural and then I am just using here the telescopic mascara by um, L'Oreal Paris and I am using here the Real Chick Party holiday collection one of the holiday kits by benefit which i really really like i am using here the hala bronzer which comes in the kit and it's just an amazing shade for contouring and i'm just contouring my shade with this big fan brush and i'm creating like a c shape just to give a little bit warmth to my skin and to my face um, so just talking a little bit about the kit, I didn't use the mascara that comes with it and the liner because I have so many open mascaras that I don't want to open one more because they go bad, you know. So I just want to keep it new for now, but I will be using their mascara to just give you guys my thoughts on my next videos. Um, and next what I'm going to do after applying the uh, bronzer is go ahead and move on to the blushes. They um, They have like they have the bronzers and they have blushes in this um, holiday kit and they also have like this bronze highlight everything in one which I actually really like as you can see it right now in this part um, they have the bronzer the blushes and also like a glow whole bronzer blush all together so I'm just using the top two together and I'm just applying it right right above that contour to just create a little bit of warmth there to give me a little bit of blush 
and yeah and then it comes with a little kit um it comes with a little sample of the what's up highlighter because and because i did have an open one i didn't want to open the one that it comes in the kit because i would like to use it for something else like if i'm traveling which is amazing so i really like the kit you know it comes with what you need so if you want something good for the um for the face and a little bit of the eyes for traveling this is like the perfect thing to get for someone during Christmas time so yeah go check it out and then here I'm just applying that highlighter which is amazing and then I'm applying a little bit down the bridge of my nose and I'm doing a little bit of contour with this brush by Modus which is like the big fat blending brush so here it is we are almost almost done so now what we're going to do is just move on to the um, lips and I am using here the natural lip pencil by NYX Cosmetics and I'm just lining my lips. I did apply a little bit of foundation with my beauty blender to just get rid of my natural shade on the lips to just make sure the color of the pencil and the lip color that I'm using shows up truly on the lips. So this is more of a neutral shade and then I am using the Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX in the color Kiero, which I really, really like. It's just so pretty and so natural and so nude, which is very nice. So if you're looking for something that is matte and it doesn't dry your lips, go ahead and check it out. Then I am using this gloss by NYX, which is in the shade Sugar Pie. You can add the gloss or you can leave it uh, just how it was, matte. So it's up, totally up to you. I was giving you two options and giving you the versatility of how the look can be. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. We have come to an end. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting my work. I'm so glad that you guys been loving my videos. And please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me some comments below. I do read them and try to answer every single uh, comment. So thank you guys so much. And I see you on my next video. Bye.